<coughs> what we're looking at is the manifold uh, which holds the carburetor on. Oh, keep forgetting the... Right, there's a carburetor. It's not the one that's going back on it. Now, standard, these things have a great big air cleaner on them. It's a big chrome thing. It's oval. It looks quite nice. And it's so big that the back of it bolts onto that and onto that. So it holds up the carburetor and the air filter that goes around it. Uh, no trouble. Thing is, once you've done away, one, if you haven't got that bread box air cleaner that, that bolts on, once that's gone, all you have is the inlet ports. These, uh, these clips here, holding the entire carburetor and air filter up. Obviously it's bouncing around a lot, it's quite heavy, and if, you, if this is all you've got holding it up, then these rubbers in here, you just about see the black edges of them, they'll tear every few weeks. You'll be replacing them. You'll hear it go on a one cylinder, and yeah, just basically useless then. So what I've got here is an L-shaped bracket that goes from where the ignition switch holds on, through here, hang on, it's got a bend at the end, that's that bit there, so I bent it and put another hole through it, and that bolts to this. Now that doesn't hold it up as such, so I've got this Jubilee clip and this Jubilee clip holding a bent bit of 3mm, and it goes under that. This is, it's very inelegant, but it does work. And then for extra super rigidity, I put a bolt through the pair of them. Now this bolt does really get in the way. You can't get that out. You can't do up a Super E from that end with that bolt in the way. So it has to come out every time you change a carburetor. Hopefully for most people that's not that often. But that's my solution. I've had it for about a month and the rubbers are still fine. It seems to, of course, solve the problem. I will say that if you get a Super E carb, they have a bracket that comes from under to there. And that's great, but on these, there's no bolt there, it's on the other side. Anyway, that's what I've done, and I tried doing without it, and it just kept tearing intake rubbers. Um, that's about it, cheery bye.